Dr. Richard Commander is a GP who was diagnosed with prostate cancer at 53. He knows the initial reaction is just to focus on getting rid of the cancer. But researching the best surgery for the best overall outcome helped him to be back up and running just weeks after his prostate cancer surgery. It was his wife Vicky who looked into the options. First of all, I wanted um, surgery for Richard that uh, would mean that it wouldn't be too invasive and that he would make a quick recovery. I uh, wanted surgery for Richard where uh, uh, he wouldn't be um, suffer from uh, much incontinence and if possible the nerves could be spared so that uh, we could um, maintain a, a good sex life as we'd always enjoyed before. Richard opted for a nerve-sparing laparoscopic prostatectomy, keyhole surgery to remove the prostate and cancer, but where possible saving the erectile tissue and nerves which lie alongside the prostate. Typically it takes a few months for erectile function to return, during which time there's support and advice from the clinic. It's an important aspect of a man's life, particularly now cancer is being picked up much earlier. So if you have people who are under 65, you know, this is you know, considered a, a young age. People are looking forward to retirement, sitting in a nice holiday villa, drinking some wine and having a few relations. Uh, and there's no doubt that it's, it's something which can be done to preserve the nerves and in my mind should be done. The sexual function is recovering remarkably well, really. It was, um, I was expecting not to be able to have much in the way of function for about a year afterwards. Um, but with the help of tablets, um, w you know, we were, it was coming back quite nicely after three months, um, which, which, were, which, which is a, again a pleasant surprise. It's now nearly six months since the surgery and um, yes, it, uh, it, it's surprising how well it's done. I had a feeling that the nerves were, were working because you've, you've got that sort of sensation, I think you know if, if things are working or not. In my experience as a urologist, in my experience treating these patients, the impotence has such a big effect on their uh, psychology, their feeling of well-being, their feeling of manliness, that because it's technically possible to save the nerves, because of the, the, the organ that's uh, that disease is the prostate, it's not the erectile nerve, so why damage uh, surrounding tissue. Why cause collateral damage if you don't need to? Richard is one of the patients in Alan Doherty's index group, a part of his audited surgical results for nerve sparing keyhole surgery. When he talks to you about how uh, the, the, the risks, the benefits, all the details, when somebody can actually quote from their own figures, he doesn't have to look at anybody else's, he just looks at his own. Um, and now he's done over six, about 600 of them. Um, he knows what he's talking about. He definitely made the correct choice, but you know, no hesitation about that whatsoever. Um, because uh, he's alive, he's fit, he's back to running, um, just the same as he ever was. Um, he didn't suffer from any major incontinence at all. Um, and our sex life is returning and it's just as enjoyable if not more so.